days of the resurrection through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. A reading from the prophet Isaiah. The Lord has given me a disciple's tongue so that I may know how to reply to the wearied. He provides me with speech. Each morning he wakes me to hear, to listen like a disciple. The Lord has opened my ear. For my part, I made no resistance, neither did I turn away. I offered my back to those who struck me, my cheeks to those who tore at my beard. I did not cover my face against insult and spittle. The Lord comes to my help so that I am untouched by the insults. So too I set my face like flint. I know I shall not be shamed. My vindicator is here at hand. Does anyone start proceedings against me? Then let us go to court together. Who thinks he has a case against me? Let him approach me. The Lord is coming to my help. Who dare condemn me? The word of the Lord. It is for you that I suffer taunts, that shame covers my face, that I have become a stranger to my family, an alien to my brothers and sisters. I burn with zeal for your house, and taunts against you fall on me. This is my prayer to you, my prayer for your favor. In your great love, answer me, O God, with your help that never fails. Rescue me from sinking in the mud. Save me from my foes. Save me from the waters of the deep. Lest the waves overwhelm me. Do not let the deep engulf me, nor death close its mouth on me. Lord, answer, for your love is kind. In your compassion, turn towards me. Do not hide your face from your servant. Answer quickly, for I am in distress. Close to my soul and redeem me. Ransom me, pressed by my foes. You know how they taunt and deride me. My oppressors are all before you. Taunts have broken my heart. I have reached the end of my strength. I look in vain for compassion. For consolers, not one could I find. For food, they gave me poison. In my thirst they gave me vinegar to drink. The poor, when they see it, will be glad, and God's seeking hearts will revive. Glory to you, Lord God, Lord Jesus Christ. Here are you are the The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. One of the twelve, the man called Judas Iscariot, went to the chief priest and said, What are you prepared to give me if I hand him over to you? They paid him thirty silver pieces, and from that moment he looked for an opportunity to betray him. Now on the first day of the unleavened bread, the disciples came to Jesus to say, Where do you want us to make the preparations for you to eat the Passover? Go to so-and-so in the city, he replied, and say to him, 
But the master says, My time is near. It is at your house that I am going, that I am keeping Passover with my disciples. The disciples did what Jesus told them and prepared the Passover. When evening came, he was at the table with the twelve disciples, and while they were eating, he said, I tell you solemnly, one of you is about to betray me. When they great, they were greatly distressed and started asking him in turn, Not I, Lord, surely, he answered, Someone who has dipped his hand into the dish with me will betray me. The Son of Man is going to his fate, as the scriptures say he will. But alas, for that man by whom the Son of Man is betrayed, better for that man if he had never been born. Judas, who was to betray him, asked him in turn, Not I, Rabbi, surely. They are your own words, answered Jesus. The Gospel of the Lord. A lot of us knew Judas Iscariot as the one who betrayed the Lord, the one who has been vilified, and the one who perhaps carries so much of the guilt of betraying the Lord. But how often do we actually think about how Judas came into the point, what pushed him to betray the Lord? And I suppose... If we look deeply, we can somehow can relate to him as well. Well, Judas is one of the most trusted apostles of the Lord. Because why would Jesus pick him to be the financier of the group? You wouldn't pick someone you don't trust to hold your money. You have to pick the most trusted one among your company. You don't put your, your hard-earned savings, for example, to a shark loan or, or something else, or, or to someone you don't trust. You put it in, in a vault in a bank to gain more interest. So Judas got a good sense of you know, a financial management kind of thing, and Jesus trusted him. And maybe Judas also have seen how you know Jesus could could be more than what he showed to people because he himself have experienced and seen it. And maybe he was just pushing the Lord. Maybe he was saying, you know, if I do this, maybe he will show not only to me, but to all of us and to everyone who 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 deride him, who he really is, that he is indeed the Messiah. Maybe if I, you know, somehow be uh, the, what we call the devil's advocate, can bring out the best in the Lord, then everyone else will believe. But, you know, of course, it came out that it is not his way, but the Lord's. Not my own way. Uh, not, not, not our own way, but God's way. And, have you actually thought that when the Lord said, one of you have deep, uh, uh, one of you, uh, he says here, someone who has deep his son into the dish with me will betray me. I guess everyone did. Because they have to dip, you know, like when you eat, uh, uh, you know, uh, finger food and there's one sauce and you dip everyone else will dip their uh, their pita bread or everything in that one dish. They may have done it too. So everyone is guilty. Everyone is guilty somehow going to betray the Lord because somehow they all did. They all ran away from the Lord. Only very few people who stayed around. So let us, as we enter tomorrow's Easter uh, Tridum, the Paschal Tridum, let us be conscious to allow God to be the one to show who He really is in our midst 
and not to force him for our own sake. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, work of human hands. It will become for us our bread of life. By the midst of this water and wine, may come to share in the divinity of Christ, to humble himself, to share our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Through the divine work of human hands, it will become for us our spiritual drink. Pray now, my dear friends, my dear sisters, my dear brothers, that your sacrifice and mine may be acceptable to God the Father Almighty. And thou was Almighty God with a firm conviction that through your Son's death in time, to which the revered mysteries bear witness, we may be assured of perpetual life. Through Christ our Lord. Sorry, I read I read the wrong prayer. Receive, O Lord, we pray the offerings made here, and graciously grant that celebrating your son's passion in mystery, we may experience the grace of its effects through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, for the days of his saving passion and glorious resurrection are approaching, by which the pride of the ancient foe is vanquished, and the mystery of our red redemption in Christ is celebrated. Through him the host of angels adores your majesty, and rejoice us in your presence forever. May our vo voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise we all acclaim. Holy, Holy Lord God, Lord, Lord, You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new eternal covenant, which we poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. 
bread and drink this cup before they forget the Lord until Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Steve, our Bishop and all the clergy, all the religious, all the men, women, children, and families who are working in the frontier missions of your church. Remember your servants, Chi Hung Charles Ng and Chi Kin Ng, whom you have called from this world to yourself, granted they who are united with your son in a death like his, may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember to all our sisters and brothers who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. We now remember members of our families who have died. Members of our parish community who have gone before us. We pray and remember those who have died in the hospitals, in the homes, in the hospices, in places of war, destructions, calamities, disasters, and accidents and those who have died in your mercy, O Lord, and whose fate you alone have known. Welcome them all into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her most chaste spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with Saint Mark, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days. That by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Peace of the Lord be with you always. We offer this peace to one another. Peace with you. Peace with you. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away all the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
and thou was almighty God with a firm conviction that through your son's death in time, to which the revered mysteries bear witness, we may be assured of perpetual life through Christ our Lord. Amen. Tomorrow there is no Mass because it's Holy Thursday. All right, so we will have the beginning of the Pascal Triduum in the evening tomorrow at 7 p.m. Uh, so have a blessed Pascal Triduum ahead. Uh, you know, perhaps uh, keep these remaining hours and until tomorrow, uh, part of your retreat to prepare yourself for the graces uh, of the Easter Triduum. We all stand. The Lord be with you. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. Grant your faithful, O Lord, we pray, to, the part, to partake unceasingly to the Paschal mysteries and to await with longing the gifts to come, that persevering in the sacrament of their rebirth, they may be led by Lenten works to newness of life through Christ our Lord. Amen. May Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. We go in peace, glorifying the Lord by our witnessing. Let us kneel.